Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is about international transfer pricing. We will not be focused on the regular transfer pricing. This topic, it is in our playlist, in our channel, and the link for this video is in our video description. So our focus today will be only about international transfer pricing. So objectives of irregular transfer pricing, motivate managers, provide an incentive for managers to make decisions, provide a basis for fairly rewarding managers. And especially here, that in international transfer pricing, we are not talking about the same company, division A, division B. We are talking about a company in a country A and its subsidiary in company B. So legally and for income tax, they are two different companies uh, following two different standards and legal procedures because they will be in different countries. And some international issues, that is our topic, minimization of custom charges, minim minimize total income tax, income tax country A plus, inter plus income tax tax uh, country B, currency restrictions, especially on uh, countries in crisis. You cannot purchase dollars or euros or any other currency freely. And risk of expropriation, government seizure. We have some in uh, Venezuela in some years ago, uh, and it can be a hard time. Usually we have four methods. Uh, and then... We have the arm's length standard. So what do we have here? And then what is the arm's length? It is basically to be a fair transfer price. So comparable price method is the most commonly used and most preferred method by tax authorities. This method established an arm's length price by using the sales price of similar products ma made by unrelated parties. I am in the country A, I am sending a component to a country B. How does this transfer price is done? By a, uh, not same price, but comparable price on country B. Resale price, this method based on an appropriate markup using gross profit of unrelated firms selling similar products. So, okay, what is the average? markup from gross profit, that will be our method. The third one, the cost plus method. Cost plus a markup. So cost plus a gross profit in percentage. Or advanced price agreements. We have in the US, not in all of the countries, but are agreements between the IRS or any name of the tax authority and the firm using transfer price that establish an, an agreed upon transfer price. Very large companies purchase not so many different components and then, okay, this will be the, uh, the transfer price. So here there is no method, but it is much more of an agreement. And again, the risk of expropriation, minimization of custom charges and currency restrictions. So let's do it. So how do we do? Let's open the transfer price. This is the regular transfer price that we have on the previous video. And here, uh, let's just change it, comparable price. So, okay, how do we do it? And here, guys, we are not going through journal entries because Two different companies. They will be doing their uh, their journal entries just like a regular uh, sales and purchase. And for consolidation, there are tons of considerations to be done, and but and also translating it to foreign currency. But they are all topics for advanced accounting. So okay, what do we do here? So let's do here. 
So comparable price. So here, let's see that we have no arm's length. Okay, so no arm's length for the three methods. Okay, we have no standards, no regulations, nothing. Okay, what do we have? Country A that is selling the component to country B. So here, A revenue, or better, country B is selling it to country A. Okay, so what do we do here? Oops, okay, country A is selling to country B, okay? So, country A, the transfer price, 100 times quantity, 10,000. So, 1 million dollars, or 1 million any currency. And then the country B resales it by 128. And here, let's assume that these are given numbers. So the revenue, let's put it on light blue here. Revenue on country A is the cost of goods sold of country B. Here, see how large this operating income is, how low is this, but the income tax is just like the same, and why? The income tax rate on country A, uh, fiscal paradise, 0.5%, but on country B, 22%. However, let's move on comparable price here. So what do we have? The revenue on country A, nothing changes. They are paying their income tax, so on, but the country B, the IRS or the tax regulator, okay, you cannot do that. For your cost of goods sold, there will not be uh, this 100 will not be your transfer price anymore. It will be 40 because if you are purchasing these from outside companies uh, or from third parties, you would be paying 40. Why are you paying 100? It is tax evasion. So we would be doing 40 times 10,000 units, 400. So here, it would be our transfer price. And then look at the income tax, it goes from 5,000 to 137. Okay. Okay, we are back online. So this is our first method, comparable price. The second one, no arm's length, would be the same, but here what changes? Instead of arm's length price or what is better, what is on your comparable price. For the resale price, we have the markup gross profit, 60. How does it work? It works just like that. We have here an assumed gross profit. So, okay, the regular gross profit is 60% of the revenue. So it will be revenue times 60%. So how much, how do we find the cost of goods sold or the transfer price? The number to match 1,280,000 minus X is 768. So revenue minus gross profit, 512. And then if you go here, look, the income tax is also that large. And the last one, the cost plus. So here, uh, the gross profit in percentage. Oh, another 60, no, 65. It will be better. And then here is the regular markup. So, okay, 55 is how much we will increase our costs. So 
So here our cost will be the revenue plus uh, times one plus our markup or markup we could go on 155 that we, that would be revenue plus uh, sorry revenue times the 165 here the usual on transfer price gross profit is the percentage of the profit so 65 percent so our revenue something is wrong here oh okay so here what do we have oh, 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 oh. Oh, let's come back oh okay sorry guys rewind so here our costs seller costs so our cost here 35 times quantity times one plus markup and then we have this 577 and okay we are good to go and then we have here the income tax and the fourth method that is the uh price agreement it is an agreement between company and the irs so there is no math on that so guys that is not that easy especially the when we compare all of these methods so watch this video how many times you want go on the excel file remember it's free the link to download it is in our video description okay guys so thank you so much if you have questions or comments leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com have a very nice day and god bless you